Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In light of me sort of declaring that I'm going fully plant-based starting May 1st, some of you have asked to see what a vegan fridge looks like, um, which is kind of interesting to me because it looks just like a normal fridge, just with different alternatives to things. So I thought I would show you what my refrigerator looks like. So I'm going to try to do this as easy as possible. So we have peanut butter. We got some non-dairy oatmeal, banana peppers, mustard, spaghetti sauce, maple syrup, jelly. This is a homemade um, balsamic strawberry salad dressing I made. Vegan mayo. I hate mayonnaise, but vegan Jared eats that all the time. We got some like pesto pasta, lemon, pickles, then I don't know what that is, but it's some sort of vegetable. Um, got some spring mix. Vegan Jared likes this vegan cream cheese, but I don't, so he eats that. We also got some vegan pesto. Some vegan Italian ranch dip from the farmer's market. This stuff is insane. It's our little bread corner. His and her bagels. Um, Dave's bagels. For some reason, Jared has two pieces of bread here. Just the ends, Dave's bread. Some low carb taco shells or tortillas, I should say. Then you have this. This is Jared's dad drink stuff blueberry juice and tonic water. Then we got some oatly almond milk. Jared likes the Whole Foods almond milk, but I don't. So I have the silk almond milk and he's been drinking this chocolate milk lately. Got our water pitcher, his and her amazing grass. This is like his kind of, I don't eat any of this stuff, um, but it's basically like fake cheese, tofurkey, fake bacon, um, some oranges, a lot of tortillas in there. So I really don't eat any of this stuff, um, mostly because I didn't like the regular meat version of it. Um, got some potatoes, cucumber, and then actually I also have a cucumber, some lavash bread. Let's see on the door we have earth balance, which is what we use instead of butter. We have, you know, our little condiment situation. More banana peppers, more jam. We got some uh, Diet Hansen's cherry vanilla soda, and then like all your condiments. So we have low sodium soy sauce, ponzu, organic sriracha, franks, some balsamic vinaigrette, some liquid aminos, which is just like soy sauce, some vegan ranch, some more vegan ranch. Then we have more almond milk, some non-dairy creamer, a bottom cover of the juice that I use in my acai bowls, um, more plant-based creamers, tea. So it's basically like everything that you would find in a regular refrigerator. But yeah, that's basically it for the fridge. In the freezer, we got some stuff. So in the freezer, we have some Beyond Meat crumbles and chicken strips, Morningstar Farms, Buffalo Nuggets. We got some coffee from Hawaii, some fake fish. These are so good. We also have some popsicles, a vegan healthy choice that I have not tried yet, but real excited about it. Got some acai super green packs. We have a multi-grain blend with vegetables from Trader Joe's and some Beyond Sausage that looks really freezer burned. And I don't know if Vegan Jared's going to eat that or not. We also have a vegan pizza. We have uh, some fake chicken patties. This looks like some sort of frozen fruit. We have some dairy-free ice cream. Um... So we have both the Oh My Dairy Free Gelato and the Nada Moo cookies and cream. Up here is just a bunch of frozen fruits and vegetables, um, some cashews that I keep in the freezer, ice packs. But yeah, just fruit and then 
all my coffee. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So I think when people hear vegan or plant-based, they get really nervous thinking that they're only going to be eating fruits and vegetables. And I understand that because years ago I thought the same thing. But it's not like that at all. It's There's literally versions of everything now that don't have dairy or animal byproducts in it. So it's super cool. But yeah, that's our fridge and freezer. If you have any questions or have tried any of those things, comment below and let me know. And I will see you next time. Okay, bye.